Hello and welcome back to Frog Boy X Wing Gaming. I'm Andrew and today we're checking out some more Cyberpunk. Now we're at nighttime. We're still running in the uh, let me just show you the settings real quick. We are still running with path tracing enabled. Um, everything's still high, ultra, all of that stuff. But this time we're running at the 14 well we're we're utilizing hyper rx as well we're at 1440p we're upscaling from 1080p to 1440p um, that way we can use the uh, quality fs um, super resolution and uh yeah so let's go ahead and take a look at this beautiful game now this right here for me at about 40 frames a second um, the reason why we're doing this with the 40 frames a second is we are also testing the the uh, anti-lag plus that is supposed to give you better um, better anti-lag or whatever. I think that's with the uh, with the mouse though. Yeah. So um, I am playing with the controller, so that. So I don't know. This doesn't feel sluggish. Like I don't feel sluggish. But I do kind of feel like the, uh, you know, obviously when you're, let's show you real quick. When you go into here and say we take this all the way down to ultra performance and we play that and then we see like the frame rate get like a lot more fluid or whatever. You can, you can obviously tell that. Um, you can't really see like a significant like downgrade on a 1440p monitor when it comes to uh to going all the way down to to like ultra performance but obviously you get that 60 frames a second but is what i want to show you is look back there you can see all of that back there how it starts to break up in on 1440p so as you start running a little bit closer to this, and you get over here to where all these uh, this these lines and stuff are hanging over this little uh, not necessarily bridge, but whatever the freak it is, um, you can see all of this stuff from back there, kind of breaking up a little bit. You know, kind of like this one over here is the the one that's still back a little ways. You start to back up, you start to see it kind of. Um, and it's it, it's not necessarily a big deal but like on the fences and stuff or the vegetation they do get they do get kind of crackly which is you know like these straight lines and stuff like this right here during broad daylight um, you'll be able to see like a lot of that stuff how the uh, <laughs> so I mean if if you're really looking at it, like you really notice it, it's it's not as bad at dark, like like it's getting dark right now, so it's not anywhere near as bad as it as it was. But like you could see, like right here, um, all the stuff along this right here, you can kind of see that like shimmering and blinking and all of that kind of stuff. Um, it might bug you, it might bug you, but oh, I don't know, man. Being able to play this with path tracing though. And having it look, you know, really, really good on a on a 1440p monitor, which is not bad. It's just, yeah, that stuff in the distance can really, can really flicker. So if we actually go into settings, I believe that we can turn on um, the uh, oh, the X the, this right here, the uh, Intel sharpness we'll turn that all the way up we'll we'll, uh, we'll use that and let me just check something real quick in the overall settings menu for for um for this i want to see if it's actually oh yeah okay so you can utilize um hyper rx in conjunction with the uh the intel solution and that will give you a 60 frames per second but when you move the camera you are going to notice uh, when you go side to side you are going to notice a lot more instability 
Oh wait, maybe that's just from the from that light stuff. Do I have like? Let me see something. Let's see if I have motion blur on. Oh yeah, that's. Let's get rid of that. Oh my goodness, that was ruining everything. Okay, good. All right, t turning off motion blur definitely helps out with that. So. Yeah, you can almost get a 60 FPS experience with this. Um, and the overall image quality does look a little bit, you know, obviously definitely cleaner. Let's run back over here and check out, like, the the stuff on the side. Nah, you can, you can kind of see that stuff a little bit broken up. That doesn't... See, I don't know, man. I don't know. Being able to use path tracing on this, on an AMD card, when the NVIDIA bros said that this was not possible, that... You can only do this on 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 uh, <laughs> Nvidia GPUs and have a playable experience. Yeah, dude. I if I were you guys, man, and you're looking at possibly getting an AMD graphics card, don't listen to those guys, man. I mean, I just I just watched the Digital Foundry, the Alex Battaglia, you know, video on the whole DLSS 3.5 thing for this game, and the dude was literally going going by or, or like he pretty much destroyed like the whole argument he ever had for for um <coughs> for ray tracing in the first place like now he's going through and pointing out all this stuff and talking about it being smudgy and blurry and all of that stuff and i was like dude you never say any of that kind of stuff when you're like trying to sell these cards man like now you're actually calling out the stuff that like we've all seen and we can all see that's like okay dude yeah sometimes it looks good but when most people like me are like, yeah, it's really not worth it. See, this is like the one thing. You see like all these lights and stuff, how they kind of like blink in and out when you turn the camera with uh, with this. Uh, um, that That's like a, that's, that is 100% like a XESS thing. Like it kind of, it kind of breaks the image quality a little bit with that because it's just not, it's not it's not fast enough that's like one of the things where I'm like I don't know if I want to use XESS because it does look good but look it kind of like breaks down all these straight lines and you can see all this stuff kind of starts sparkling and stuff but as long as you're moving like straight usually it's not too big of a deal you know you can kind of see it or whatnot so I, that's what that's why I've kind of just been like yeah, probably just going to keep on, you know, because if you could try to go up again on that one, you don't really get performance back. So if we just go to, I mean, quality on this with the, with the super resolution, then we usually get like our, um, oh no, did my game freeze? No. Uh, then, then you get at least a 30 FPS experience where you're still getting the anti-lag, but now you're not getting as much of that freaking... Well, I mean, you are. You're getting, like, the 30 FPS judder type stuff, but it's not too much. And you notice... I noticed this a lot more on the monitor than I did on the... Uh, so, I mean, you got, like, this ray tracing right here. Like, like the... That thing is barely coming into the... To the to the frame or whatever. I mean, you get pretty decent ray tracing, but at the same time, I think it could be better. I think that's like a window or something. You need help. I mean, don't get me wrong, DLSS looks pretty nice, but I do think that, uh, I do think that you can have a playable experience like this. Um, my way to honestly play this, if you're going to play on 4K, um, is probably going to be utilizing um, uh, utilizing this this mode because the overall image quality still looks incredible, but you get the lighting effects from path tracing. Um, if we go over here, let's go ahead and set this right there on ultra performance. We'll apply that real quick. 
and then we'll go to video and then we'll crank this all the way up to 4k um, if we're on 4k now we're not going to be able to utilize um, the hyper rx so that just turned off the hyper rx but now you can see like the image quality significant i mean it just looks like if you're watching this on a 1440p monitor like you will instantly see just how incredible this looks now and you're still getting like this looks just as good if not better because you're not getting as much of the shimmer or, or the uh, or the other breakups so it looks better and then it's being super sampled back down to 1440p so it just looks even better so if you could if you could i mean you still get to use i mean you're still obviously utilizing the anti-lag plus you're just not getting the uh the uh, hyper rx benefit of the resolution upscaling but you are still getting all of the rest of the hyper rx features you know like um boost and all of that stuff so overall it still feels fine still feels you know pretty fluid like i don't feel like i'm getting a whole lot of lag when it comes to like moving and stuff like shooting still feels pretty dang good um, overall image quality does get significantly better. Oh, look at this. I thought we fixed everything in this game. We're still just walking into poles here. Let me give you a push. Oh, yeah, lady. You're acting like a weirdo. Must be the... Yes, what? You're just going to walk right in front of cars? You are crazy. Gosh, these people in this game. These are kind of weird, man. But like if you look at the overall, let's see if we can find some of these, uh, I mean like the lighting effects at night, they do look very, very nice. You can just stand here and look down the street. Hoo wee. I don't know, man. Like I don't, see, see that's the thing. I don't need to sit here and make excuses for AMD because it's clearly performing. It's clearly giving me a playable experience at 4K at 30 frames per second, at a 30 frames per second. Uh, let's go see if we can get into like some, some like gunfight and stuff. See if the, uh... Oh, see if it'll at least hold 30. Yeah. Looks like it will at least hold up on the 30 or whatever. See if some other police will come after us. Oh no, I think they're coming. Oof, pop! Guys, we'll fight those cops from I mean, yeah. See, you know what I mean? Like, get into a fight. Um, it's it's pretty much a 30 frames per second experience. Dude, they can't even see me now. They must be fighting somebody else. Sounds good to me. Sounds pretty good to me. Let's see if we can just get out of this area. See if we can uh, get away from... See, look at this, how dark this is over here. This looks very, very nice. Let's look at the fire here. Like the, the overall image quality of like the path tracing. Himself. Stand down. Oh. 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 
Oh, man, I made the freaking screen look all weird because I'm, like, on something. <laughs> but, yeah, so, I mean, you get, like, a 30 frames per second. That, that obviously goes up from 30. I haven't really seen it go under 30. So, it, it is dynamic. Um, wow, these guys are still on me. Dude, they're coming from all over. Wow, dude, there's a... Oh, no, dude, I got the tacticals now. Gotta move. Maybe they got roadblocks now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously you can play this at 30 frames a second. So I mean, with uh, you know max settings at quality or whatever at 4K. So that's definitely not bad. I mean. We were told that this wouldn't even work, and yet here we are, 4K, playing this at 4K. So, yeah, that's pretty dang good if you ask me. Like, I'm pretty dang happy with that. Suspect has bum bingo. Dude, this guy's got a roadblock scene. This freaking scary road. Come on, move it. You're gonna get the police. Wow, I got three stars. That's why they're coming after me today. These guys want a piece of this. Wow. <laughs> Oh, my doors are falling off. Hey, at least the freaking cop cars are junk. This is supposed to be like the best car ever. I got three stars, man. Ooh, I have not seen how how this go, how this will get. They'll have those one things come out for you. Can we even escape them though now? Look man, boom, they see me again, they see me again. Boom. Dang. <laughs> that is in Insane. I gotta find a place to hide. Let's get out of this freaking dump car. Let's get up here on a road that they're not even driving on.
are they trying to come up here? Look at this dude. He did. He come up. Oh my freaking lordy. That's good. I need a new car anyways. Haven't you guys ever seen Robocop, man? Remember what happens to freaking Murphy? Roger that, dispatch. This is 331 responding. It's my neighborhood. I'll take you for tacos sometime. Oh no! I'm just a regular police officer, guys. Dude, these guys are all over me. They want to. Dude, there's another one already in front of us. Dude, we're never gonna make it. We are doomed. We picked a fight with the wrong police force. Night City police are very not nice. If you do blow well, if you take out a whole bunch of them, they are not gonna be nice to you. Oh no! Goodbye, dummies! Huh. What the freak? How many of them do they got? Gosh dang, man. Let's go. No! Oh, oh, dude, it was like a flashbang. They flashbanged me. No freaking way. This is insane. These guys are like for real after me. They are freaking. Wow. This this is impressive. I'm not even going to lie. Dude, they can like shoot at me from freaking in those cars. This car is just slow. I'm never going to be able to get away from these guys in this slow car. These guys are, there's too many, look at that. There's another one already. What the freak, man? We just need to hide. We, we gotta hide, we gotta get out of this car. We gotta find a place to go that they're not patrolling. Gosh dang, they've got a roadblock. No way, come on, move your freaking cars. Okay, first place we can get off this road, we're getting off this freaking road. Let's see, can we, can we turn up here somewhere, hopefully? They've got roadblocks everywhere. by freaking truck. Let's see if we can even hide from these guys. Come down here in this dark, dark alley. My gosh. Oh, <laughs> That is so dark. Wow. Looks like they might have forgot about me. I don't have any stars no more. I don't know. 
Maybe they forgot about me. But this looks incredible, man. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so you can play path tracing on the AMD cards. Uh, we were told that this wasn't even possible, so yeah. Just being able to play this is awesome. Is, is, is awesome. Let's see. So, all right, my friends, if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.